Good afternoon, it's Sunday the 24th of November and it's a very gloomy overcast Sunday. Rain has been pelting down for the last number of days and it's just miserable. We're looking up towards the Castle Ray Hills, we're looking up the upper Craigie Road and we're standing down at the roundabout and the flats and Craigie Estate is up in behind those and round there to the right is the entrance to King Span. And I'm gonna cross the road here and do a wee walk down the Craigie Road. Very famous road in Belfast. Looking at Onzo Parade leading to Ravenhill Park, this direction here. And this road here is one way and it will take you to the back of King Span. And this is East Belfast. And this end of the road, big residential area, Onzo Gardens. And maybe you remember walking this road. Maybe you're living far far away today. Well I hope this wee video might actually bring back a few memories. Salvation Army, Belfast Temple, that's what they call it. with their distinctive uh, logo there. Just passing a pretty Presbyterian church with the Allen Memorial Hall in behind and they've done a refurb on uh, one of the entrances here. Church is actually looking fantastically well. They must have done a major cleanup of it. Any building that is lying close to a major road uh, takes a lot of uh, road grime. This is Arden Lee Avenue. Ave I thought it was Arden Lee Parade. Silly me. Smashing houses. Uh, much sought after houses, I can tell you. Finsbury Street and we're coming down to the main shopping area of the Craigie Road. Yeah, this is Arden Lee Avenue. Now, if you want some cheap uh, computer ink, you come to uh, the link. And there's Iceland across the road. And this is Harding Memorial Primary School. Got a wee notice up on the side of it there, which I'll try and home in on. Might give a date, don't know. The plaque that was on there is obviously gone. And a lot of youngsters will have fond memories, well not youngsters, adults, will have fond memories of Harding Memorial Primary. Don't see a date anywhere, what do I see? A 
used to be one of the oldest uh, primary schools about here and still still working away teaching the children Twenty-six Belfast Boys Scout Group at the Courtney Hall. We're on the Dromore Street. A lot of charity shops have uh, come onto this road now. A lot of shops obviously shut on a Sunday. Another shot from across the road of Harding Memorial Primary School. And this is Reed Street. Van Dar Street. The chip in. Good name. And the co on Oberon Street. And there's the Craigie Methodist Church. A lot of churches on this road. And this is interesting here. A lot of these street names are significant. Titania Street. Obviously after the Titanic. And this was uh, once a bank. Don't think it's a bank anymore. I'm not sure. It's Willowfield Credit Union. Used to be a bank, I'm nearly sure. It's another bank that's closed. Here's one of the most famous shops on this road. And we're on Willem Home Parade. And this is Wise Buys. And if you want to get a good deal on Christmas lights, and it's running up to Christmas now, you go to Wise Buys is the place to go. Very, very popular uh, shop on the Craigie. And it has two or three outlets. Unfortunately, like everywhere else, these shopping roads are struggling. They're struggling with rents, and they're struggling with rates, and they're struggling with the internet. And I'm seeing quite a number of to let signs up. This is the Apache, the Craigie Chippy. This has been here for some time.
And this is Wilmholm Street. Don't know whether the Paragon's operating anymore. This is coming on further down. A lot of hairdressing shops. A lot of eateries. And this is Emma Little Pengalli's constituency office. And there's a big election on at the minute. Here's Ravenhill Avenue. Porterhouse, Subway, Panasonic Center for sale. If people are moving out, can't afford these high rates and rentals. And the internet as well. Woodstock Reformed Presbyterian Church. And alongside it is Woodstock Gospel Hall. Or not Woodstock, Craigie Street Gospel Hall. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And they're running there's um, advertising the C.S. Lewis uh, exhibition or whatever it is week and they're uh, advertising English classes which is good there's to let again our Grand Street Tan on Beauty Salon that's what I need And this again, I, I think this was a bank as well. Nearly sure. And we're on Tildark Street. Gordon's Chemist. Barbers, bookies, eateries, and people looking to sell up and move out. And this bank has been transformed into apartments. And street art going on up here, remembering the First World War. Second World War. And this has to be one of the most uh, popular shops on the Craigie. Eh? This is Fusco's Pure Ice Cream. White ice cream. Great stuff. Call in here. Get a carton. And this is Red Car Street on the other side of the road. And this is Cologne Street. And there's the fish and chip, Smith's fish and chip shop, and I've done a wee bit of Christmas decorations there. Footwear, tattoos, mortgages. And this is Woodstock Library. Dawson's hardware at night. You will not see too many hardware shops in existence anymore around the streets of Belfast. This is quite interesting. We've got a 
local street art on Green Ore Street. What's it say? Cornerstone in every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. I think that's, that's a biblical reference, I'm not sure. We kitchen houses, but a lot of them have been uh, refurbished and added to. Portello Street. Gibson Home Bakery. Gibson's Home Bakery. I love a home bakery, I have to say. And we're on O'Meath Street. We're really coming on to the wheat stock and this is Crumble's Sugar uh, Directors. I see Crumble's Sugar Director has got an outside defib. It's not good. Excellent. And we're on Arden Fire Street. Again, as I say, many of these street names are named after historic old events. And there's Sam's Electrical Superstore, and I think it's Tillet. Another one. Gone. So this is really the Woodstock. And this is Willowfield Parade. I'm not sure whether this is a church or a chapel. I don't know. I think it's the chapel. I'm not sure. The Roman, Roman Catholic Church is the chapel. And uh, remember what I said about the uh, the road grime getting up onto the bricks of the of the chapel here. It really discolours them. Bullfield Crescent. Not sure what that building is. Uh, we'll see. So this is Willowfield Church of Ireland, Church Halls. Uh, quite modern looking they are too. They're across the road from the actual church. Willowfield Gardens. And this, on the left-hand side, used to be the police station, but it doesn't look as if it's, it is a police station anymore. And they've closed a stack of the police stations all over the whole of Northern Ireland. And this is called Progress. They'll leave, leave you without any police. I'm on a rant, folks. 
and not ramped anymore. So there's Willowfield Drive. This is Willowfield Church of Ireland. And it's got the mega centre up this side. I'll, I'll stop on the other side of it actually. And there's a big memorial to uh, the guys in the First and Second World War. I think this is mostly First World War. Fabulous, fabulous memorial that. And I think I've videoed that before. And these are the VC winners on the right hand side. And as I always say, come and see it for yourself. So there's, oh I forgot to mention, like there's Maranatha Christian Church down there. The independent establishment. And this is my lady's road. Quite a famous road actually. Cut cross road. So we'll stop at Willowfield Parish. And I think it's Stevie McClay might have been uh, the minister here. And I think he's uh, I think he's got promotion. I think he's become the Bishop of Down and Connor or somewhere. And they're advertising Alpha up there. I'm not going to go much further, but I just wanted to get in the Tom West picture framing uh, shop 264 Woodstock Road because my mate Alan Wallace runs this shop and he's very, very good. He's very, very competitive with his prices. That's Jocelyn Avenue, and this is my mate. Picture framing shop. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a look up the road again. Just a view that you get looking up the road. a busy wee road at weekends well Saturday people love to come back here even when they've moved away to do their shopping I'm at the top of the road so looking into the mist the cool. And this as I say, I'm across the road. This is Craigie Presbyterian Church. And look, they got a Christmas tree festival here. And there's all the, the times. And I've been to these before and they're really, really good. And maybe get to that. I have to say, this church looks really, really class. You know, it's been very, very well maintained. This from 1928. I'll have to come back for that. 
And there's all the information about it. A Reverend J.B. McKenzie. And Hastings McIntyre. There's the uh, retired minister here. I think he used to be a trombone. Not sure. So, I'm coming near the end of my little dander up and down the Craigie Woodstock. I didn't really do much of the Woodstock, mind you. So I hope you found it interesting. And I hope you have fond memories of this road. I taught an awful lot of kids from this area.